My name is uh, Jaime Garcia. Uh, I work for the Dal County Sheriff's Office. I've been there employed for about 18 years, and I have a canine partner by the name of Ash, who won the award for the Narcotic Detection uh, Award for Project Canine Hero. I'm honored to share Ash's story with you all. I'm Christy Schiller, and I'm the founder and chairman of CaninesForCops.org. And our organization serves to provide trained canines ready for action to law enforcement agencies, sheriff's departments, police departments, and school resource officers. I have three daughters, and she's my fourth daughter. And my daughter don't, don't like it as much because I pay more attention to her. <laughs> I'm just kidding, kids. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we work at IK9 and also the Foundation First Foundation. First Foundation works with first responders and special operations, and IK9 trains canines for the military, for homeland security, for law enforcement for a lot of different roles. It also does service dogs as well. Uh, we saw a lot of promise in the dog when we were sourcing dogs overseas. The groups before us, we all kind of laughed about because they said, oh, that dog will never amount to anything. And Jason and I looked at each other and we just kind of laughed because we saw the promise in that dog. Ash is just outstanding. I call her autopilot. I just let go of the leash and she, she knows what to do by her own. Like every time I see it, I just, it, it amazes me. Like from the first day I got her to like now, it's a big difference. I mean, our bond is like no other. Jaime and Asha have hit the ground running and they haven't slowed down in the five years since they've been a team. You know, they have taken um, in excess of $85 million in contraband, $10 million in cash. That doesn't count the planes, the homes, the properties, the cars that they've seized. I work with other agencies also. Uh, D.E. Haida, uh, HSI, and actually the post office also. And I remember in the post office, I run the, the Ash on the boxes, she gives an alert, and they get a search warrant for it. So I've gotten hundreds of thousand dollars cash money, kilos of coke, marijuana, through the mail system. Like, and now I like, Ash alerted to it. Ash did this. She's the one that does everything. I just sit back and just watch her do her work. And right now I'll demonstrate to you how, how she works. You see that change of behavior, that sudden turn? She's telling me right there, you know what? Dad, it's right here, Dad. And now she's waiting for Dad to give her the reward. The, the most rewarding part of having Asha with me, like I said before, is she, she makes my job easier. All that, that, that little narcotics that we get off the streets, it's lives that we're saving from the citizens. Every time I get on Instagram, we see Asha. And to know now that she is the winner of the Canine Hero Awards, I mean, we never imagined that she would be bestowed such an honor in her department and I mean we couldn't be more thrilled for her and her handler. Asha is real social like I say I, I tell my family and friends uh, Asha she'll lick you to death I mean she has no aggression in her whatsoever I love Asha it's just, she's great all around with my family and, and at work. Jaime's really special he has um, he is so passionate about his job and what he does. I think one of the great things that really complement our two nonprofit organizations is Canines for Cops take the dogs from the start. They support them throughout their entire active duty career. And then we're there to help them in retirement. If she retires or they're making a mandatory and after nine years of service, or actually nine, nine years of age, they'll, they'll retire and in May, she'll be nine the next year. Um, I'm not looking forward to it. I just will be wearing a black armband when they retire her because she's nowhere near ready and she's eight years old. But she's not going down anytime soon. And the team that they make, I mean, if I think about things in life, you think about Dean Martin and Frank Sinatra or Ginger Rogers and Fred Adair, I immediately think of great teams. I think of Jaime and Asha. Asha did her job. I mean, surpassed all expectations for me and, and the community. It's only fair for her to enjoy life after retirement.